All right, we are finally revisiting the old Ergo Insano project. Uh, so if you haven't watched a video on that, uh, this is an old Ergo Rapido vacuum cleaner thing, which originally ran off of a few, uh, I believe a 12 volt NICAD pack or NEMH. And uh, yeah, those batteries were shot when I got it and they were never very good for the application to begin with, since you have, have to have a stupid amount of batteries in series to get up to 12 volts. So, at first in the previous video, I tried to just use some random old laptop cells to make it run off of a 14-ish volt battery pack, but it turned out that the crappy old laptop batteries I used couldn't handle anywhere near the 15 amps that it required. So, by chance, I happened upon a set of 10 very cheap uh, and seemingly genuine A123 LiFePo cells on eBay. So, I figured I'd get a pack and shove four of them in this device. So that will, should give us a 12-ish volt pack, uh, which should be able to handle quite a lot more current than four random model laptop cells from the Stone Age. So let's just shove them in there and see if this thing actually works. I also got a four cell LiFePo protection and balancing circuit, uh, just in case. It's not really necessary with LiFePo since they're so uh, tame batteries in general, but uh, I figured it wouldn't hurt. Alright, and here's the soldered together pack. Uh, with the previous pack I just uh, used the old uh, welding tabs to uh, solder everything together, but uh, it is possible to solder these cells direct, although uh, you will want to be very quick about it in order not to damage the battery. I prefer to use a very hot tip and just uh, kind of pulse the heat in, into the metal case so that uh, it has a, a chance to uh, dissipate the heat down this way so if we don't get the entire battery to be 400 degrees over there and possibly take damage or break. Uh, but I've measured it up, all the cells seem to make it quite okay. And we've just got uh, some jumper wires between the cells that go in the front of the unit and the pair that go in the back of the unit and we've also got the monitoring wires for the uh, battery management system. So and I've just got to insulate everything up and install it in the vacuum. Alright, and that's the protection board and battery pack wired up for a little preliminary test run. Uh, I did mention we've got about 14 volts uh, out on that connector there, so when I flick the switch this thing should uh, make some noise. Now that's a bit of an improvement, isn't it? And what's our battery voltage on the load? Now that's pretty okay, about 3 volts per cell. And there it is, loomed up as good as it's gonna get. Uh, looming this is basically hell on earth unless you're one of those Indian gods with more hands than you have legs. Because it's just so incredibly tight to fit everything round here. And uh, you really need to have a lot of slack in the wiring in order to be able to wire up the BMS H side of the case. So it's all very, very, very cobbled together and a very tight fit, but I think this should go inside the case uh, with just a bit of luck. So let's see. All right, moment of truth. That's the result, let's just hope it doesn't catch fire now. Oh, there we go, a bit of a clean out later. The Ergo Insano has turned into the Ergo Lifepo. Because, well, at a 12 volt battery pack, this is hardly as insane as the original idea was going to be, but I think it'll work out quite fine. So uh, what I have now done, taking the liberty to do it off camera, is uh, I've actually installed uh, a charging plug on the uh, handle thing. Uh, and that's because this also suffers from the Indian God Syndrome of having a horrible looming uh, done with all the little wiring going to the uh, brush head and the button uh, just kind of being crammed in there and 
it basically falls out unless you keep everything in place at once and that's uh, quite a bit of stuff to keep track of. Uh, but uh, as if you've seen the other video on this thing, uh, you'll remember that I disconnected the low power mode on this switch. Uh, this one can go in high mode and low mode and I just, uh, due to space constraint in order to fit the 18650s into the uh, handle, I actually had to remove uh, around here, there's a, a big power resistor which <laughs> does for low mode, and I just removed that. Uh, the way that was connected up was it just used a an extra connector on here, uh, and uh, it would charge the battery originally through the power uh, output connector because if the battery is in here, it would feed the brush in there through the button. Uh, but what I've done now is I've uh, I'm not going since the uh, protection circuit I'm using actually has a connector uh, for the charger uh, since it also protects for from uh, over voltage during charging it seems uh, I've just reused that low mode connector to connect to the DC plug on the back so we've just got the charging uh, separate charging and power output connectors on here and uh, one of these pins just or rather ground and one of these pins just runs straight to this plug and uh, we should be able to pop this in here. I haven't tested this before, it might go up and smoke. Nope. Uh, and uh, charge it. Let's try it. Alright, so we want to 14.4 volts and I'm doing it at about an amp. So let's plug this in. I mentioned that we actually have battery voltage coming out of this plug. So let's try not to short it out. No fire yet. So let's see if it'll charge. That does look quite fine. It's charging for full amp. And if we turn it on, it should drop a voltage as well. Ah, that's excellent. That's a working charge port. And probably a power output as well, depending on whether or not there's a diode uh, in the uh, uh, protection circuit. Sweet. So now all that's left to do is uh, put everything properly back together and. Uh, uh, give it a very thorough clean out of all the old people, the slimy yuck that's in it, and then it'll be good to go, I think. Alright, I haven't cleaned it yet, but let's just give it a bit of a test run. Here we go. Pretty good job, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty okay. Pretty okay indeed. So there you go, that's the Ergo Lefepo Hacky Vacuum Cleaner. All that's left to do now is uh, give it a bit of a test run to see for how long it'll actually run, but I'm going to bet that these uh, roughly 1.3 amp hour Lefepo cells are going to be a quite considerable improvement over the original and nickel metal hydride batteries because I think they were like yeah 1300 milliamp hours so that's not too impressive not too impressive at all yeah they finally turned into something thanks for watching cheerio